Hi everyone. Given the restrictions of movement to the contours of the canonic parts in this work, with one proceeding in augmented note values and in contrary motion with the lowest part, the resulting non-harmony notes essentially behave as expected. The slower harmonic rhythm of this canon also assists in ensuring that even with one part proceeding in doubled note values, all parts essentially align, forming functional progressions. Through the opening bar and onto the initial quarter note beat of the second, for example, all passing and neighbour notes move as expected, with the crossing of the lower parts creating first inversion C minor tonic harmony in the middle of the bar. The seventh of A-flat submediant seventh harmony here, while prepared as the fifth of tonic harmony, doesn't appear to resolve, but instead ascends to the third of subdominant harmony. Here, however, Bach transfers the submediant seventh degrees resolution to the lowest part, which descends as expected to the root note of F minor harmony. The F minor chord can also perhaps be heard as supertonic D half diminished seventh harmony, as here both precede dominant harmony in the following bar. Here, however, I favour the subdominant label, firstly because this E is raised, acting as the leading note of F minor, suggesting Bach was also hearing this note group as forming F minor harmony, and secondly, the contour of this note group recurs at several other locations, creating some motivic unity. In each of these uses, the motif moves from the root note of the underlying harmony to its fifth, before proceeding back, either to the chord's root note or its seventh. Here the sound of the second inversion G dominant chord is lessened by its move to the following root position secondary D dominant seventh chord, which returns the G dominant harmony moving to the tonic major. Bach again uses a similar idea here, where the fifth degree of second inversion F subdominant harmony is continued in the following bar by first inversion submediant and tonic harmony. Here then, G dominant harmony is essentially prolonged for two full bars, and here F minor subdominant harmony is absorbed by the overall move from dominant to tonic harmony. This E flat then can be heard as an incomplete upper neighbor note prefix to D, G dominant's fifth degree, with the C and A as anticipations of the fifth and seventh degrees of the secondary D dominant seventh harmony in the following bar. This E forms a third with the secondary dominant 7th degree, and here behaves as a lower neighbor note prefix to the 7th of G dominant harmony. Here, augmentation of the original figure's contour in the upper part creates a decorated 9-8 suspension over tonic major harmony. Here, a 7-6 suspension is used, and here, another incomplete chromatic lower neighbor note prefix, moving here to the third of D minor supertonic 7th harmony. This B anticipates G dominant 7th harmony in the following bar, and here between the previously discussed 2nd inversion F minor subdominant and 1st inversion A flat submediant chords, this vertical combination may be heard as incomplete leading note B diminished 7th harmony. This B flat in the upper part may be heard as an incomplete upper neighbor note prefix to A flat, sounding initially as the 3rd of F minor, then the 7th of diminished harmony. This tied A flat may be heard either as the root note of A flat submediant harmony or as a delayed move to C minor's fifth degree. A similar usage can be seen in several other locations, such as here where this B is tied, delaying the arrival of the secondary D dominant seventh degree, and here where this tied B flat moves through A flat to sound C minor's fifth degree. To hear this A flat as the root note of A flat submediant harmony would place it in second inversion, which in this context at the beginning of the canon's repeat is unlikely. Here, what was originally A flat submediant seventh harmony in bar two, given the B natural in the upper part, should probably be heard as G dominant seventh harmony. Here, as with bar two's A flat major seven chord, the dominant seventh degree is transferred to the lowest part, becoming the fifth of leading note B diminished seventh harmony, whose own seventh degree is also transferred to the lowest part to resolve onto the root note of G dominant harmony. This E note, here raised to avoid a false relation with the E in the lowest part, can be heard as another incomplete upper neighbor note prefix, here moving to the dominant's fifth degree. In these bars then, Bach is again framing a different but related chord with the same harmony, which here essentially prolongs C minor's dominant for seven quarter note beats. The remaining bars of the canon essentially use the same harmonies as in the first part. 
Some differences, however, do occur, such as here where the earlier minor dominant harmony is major. Here also, in its original occurrence, supertonic D half diminished seventh harmony was prolonged, while here, given the inclusion of this B in the upper part, other harmonies should probably be included. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. See you next time.